In this video, I'm gonna be going through the multiple different blue egg laying chicken breeds. And I'll be talking about one breed that can lay up to 300 eggs per year. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, chickens that lay blue eggs are few and far between. As you'll see, getting blue eggs is a bit more complex than getting a brown or white egg. It's a genetic trait that one has become very popular over the last few years. Almost everyone enjoys a variety of colors in the egg carton, brown, white, blue, green, even pink. So in this video, you'll expect the eight breeds that lay blue eggs. But first, I'm going to answer the question, how are blue eggs formed? And what makes a blue egg so very different from any other egg? It all begins in the reproductive tract. All eggs are born white. Some will stay white, cream, or off-white up to the laying point because they have no pigment overlay. Brown eggs start to become brown in the uterus. Brown eggs are made by the application of a dye on the eggshell. The dye is called protoporphyrin, and this is made from the blood's hemoglobin. The shade of brown is controlled by the genetic blueprint of the hen. Other factors can affect the dyeing process too. For example, if the egg goes slowly through the tract, it will have speckles. The hen only makes a certain amount of dye for each egg, so an extra large egg may appear paler than regular sized eggs. Or if there's a hiccup, an egg can be partially colored, leaving a two-tone look, much as your printer running out of ink. As you probably know, if you have to clean a brown egg, the coloring will rub off, leaving paler patches. Blue eggs, however, are quite different. The ocyanin, a liver pigment derived from the biliverdin, starts to get laid into the calcium carbonate base of the shell at the beginning of the process. The color, therefore, becomes part of the egg and cannot be rubbed off. The blue color is carried all the way through the shell to the inside. White and blue are the two true egg colors. Brown, all olive, and green can all be removed from the shell since the pigments are laid over the shell. Recent studies into the blue egg coloring suggest that it is caused by a retrovirus, which altered the chicken's DNA and caused blue eggs way back in history. It is a harmless virus, so don't freak out, and it just gives us pretty blue eggs. So now let's get into the breeds that lay these beautiful eggs. The first one on this list is the Aracana. It's originally from South America, Chile to be exact. The Aracana is actually a combination of Cayuncas and and Cuetros chickens of Chile, and these are the first chicken inhabitants of the continent. The Coyuncas laid blue eggs and were rumpless, no tail feathers and no tailbone. The Cuetros had tufted ears, peak home, full tail, and laid brown eggs. These two breeds were bred together by Dr. Ruben Bustos back in the 1880s, and he created the Aracana as we know it today. This breed is quite rare, partly because of a lethal tufting gene. If both parents have the gene for tufting, at least 25% of the chicks will die in the shell. They can usually only be purchased from a breeder because a lot of work goes into producing these unusual birds. They aren't known to be very friendly or cuddly chickens, so they're not really suitable for most backyard chicken keepers. The Aracana comes in bantam and standard size fowl. As a breed, it was admitted to the American Poultry Association in 1976. You should expect around 200 to 250 eggs per year. The next one on the list is the cream leg bar chicken. It's a 20th century creation. Two professors at Cambridge University in England were working with chicken genetics to try and create an auto-sexing chicken. At the time these birds were created, blue eggs were not popular and the breed almost became extinct. The leg bar is a mix of leghorn, barred Plymouth rock, and aracana. The aracana blood is reflected in the crest and of course the blue eggs. The breed is still relatively rare but becoming more popular with backyard enthusiasts. They are friendly birds, great foragers, quite muscular, and predator savvy. The hen weighs about five and a half pounds with the rooster weighing in at about six and a half pounds. The hens will lay around 200 eggs per year. The next one on this list is the Easter Egger. The beloved Easter Egger is not in fact a recognized breed, but a hybrid or mutt chicken. Somewhere in its ancestry, it had either Aracana or Americana blood and so possesses the blue egg gene. Although not all Easter Eggers will lay blue eggs. Easter Eggers may lay anything from pale pink to a dark brown or olive or green or blue colored egg. It is also called the rainbow layer because of the variety of egg colors possible. They can lay around 250 eggs per year. Not too shabby. It's said to be an excellent bird for a family flock and they're also friendly and docile and they react pretty well to small children. It should have a peak comb and muffs. Feather coloring is widely variable from bird to bird as is the egg color. They make great mothers and can grow broody. They are good for hatching any eggs you care to put under them. They're good foragers and quite predator aware. They are considered to be one of the best free range breeds due to their love of foraging and their own predator like appearance. It is said that the Easter egger has a hawk like appearance. Thus it's thought that they actually could deter hawk attacks as well as other small animal attacks. Now, the next two varieties on this list is the Dongsheng and Lushi. 
these come from the provinces of China. I have found very little information about them, except that the Lushi chicken appears to lay either pink or blue eggs. Perhaps this is the Chinese equivalent of an Easter egg. The Lushi is a small bird, the rooster weighing less than four pounds, and the hen less than three pounds. They are a single comb breed. The Dongcheng chicken is a fibromelanistic bird, meaning its skin, muscles, and organs are black, just like the I am Samani. They lay blue eggs only. As far as I know, no birds exist outside of China. The next one on this list is the Whiting True Blue Chicken. This breed was created by Dr. Tom Whiting of Colorado. He had dual interest in mind, blue eggs and superb hackle feathers. The hackle feathers on superior birds are used for fly tying and are exceptional in quality. The plumage of true blues can vary from a chipmunk pattern to Easter egg variety. The birds are said to be fast growing, good flyers, alert and active. They are also friendly and curious. If you feel the need to add them to your flock, be prepared for a little sticker shock. These beauties will cost you around $24 per bird. You should expect upwards of 200 eggs per year. All right, two more. But before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe to the website using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, number seven, the Arkansas Blue Chicken, an experimental breed possibly created by Dr. Keith Bromwell at the University of Arkansas. The bird is apparently a cross between an Arcana and a commercial strain of a white leghorn, an exceptional layer of around 250 to 350 eggs per year. The appearance is close to a Sumatra hen with clean face, peak comb, and yellow skin and legs. I know someone who owned two of these at one time. They said that they found them pretty flighty and not at all friendly to humans. Needless to say, they did not stay very long. All right, the last one on this list is the Americana. Prior to 1976, Aracana breeders had their own visions of what was the perfect Aracana. Some breeders crossbred with other breeds looking for the best of everything. The American Aracana at the time could look very different from flock to flock. The purists bred for tufts and rumpless, yet others bred for tails and muffs. The birds weigh in at around five and a half pounds for both sexes. They lay somewhere around 180 to 200 eggs per year. They have a mild, friendly disposition and are docile. The true Americana is still relatively rare. Many other birds, usually Easter eggers, are sold by hatcheries under the name Americana. Now you need to pay attention to the spelling or a similar sounding name. So it's a case of buyer beware. True Americana chicks sell for around about $18 each. So if you are offered Americanas at $2 each, just be very, very cautious. When you're looking to purchase your first blue egg laying bird, you'll see some confusion and some deliberate misspellings between the Americana and Americana. The true name for the blue egg laying bird is Americana. And Americana is most likely just an Easter egger. So when browsing hatcheries, watch for this error so you know what you're purchasing. If you like this video, please check out this one over here as well. That's gonna do it for us today. If you learned something new, please share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.